Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're reacting to what if the world turned to gold? The gold apocalypse. Bro, you already know if the world, you know, money. Everybody loves profit. I don't know if you guys heard about that asteroid that can make everyone on Earth a billionaire. And it's not everyone. If something like that is found, the government would be like, okay, now we own Earth. Like anything you touch that's gold is ours like Greedy bro every like everyone's greedy if that if the world turned into gold You'd have people trying to conquer everything again, and it'd be it'd be annoying I don't know what happened, but I know I'd be rich Obviously, I'd be a rich guy, but yeah, uh, if you need here don't forget to like and subscribe and recommend me more videos to react to and yeah Let's watch here in the Kurzgesagt Labs, we only work on the most important scientific problems like what if we nuke stuff, or how about we make this elephant explode, or who could forget, look at this thing, it's really big. Continuing this proud tradition, let's explore the scientific mystery of what would happen to you if Earth suddenly turned into gold. Mm, the Midas Apocalypse, money, based bro. on the ancient tale of King Midas, who was cursed so everything he touched turned into gold. Before we can explore this scenario with science, we'll first define the premise. Midas's curse is a very special phenomenon called magic, which allows us to modify there, physics. Bro. So what mm. happens when Midas touches something and it turns to gold? Man, I let him touch my hand. I want some money, bro. I'd risk it. An atom of gold has 79 protons and 180 neutrons in its nucleus. The electric force of the protons on the electrons around them shapes the atom and gives gold its chemical properties, like that it doesn't rust and that it's kind of shiny and bendy. So, to make not gold into gold, we have to change atoms. Let's say Midas touches a duck. All the light Poor elements duck, like hydrogen, <laughs> carbon and oxygen gain electrons and protons and neutrons to become gold. Not only is the duck suddenly 33 times more massive, it's also much too dense. The gold atoms are far closer together than they like and repel each other violently, causing the golden duck to explode with the energy of half a ton of TNT, leaving only gold dust and a very dead Midas. This is clearly not a very good way for Midas's power to work. So what? instead, Midas's power uses the atoms that are already present and simply rearranges all particles in the matter he touches into gold. Oh, that makes no more sense. Is created or destroyed. Instead, atoms dissolve and the protons, neutrons, and electrons are reassembled to make gold. Oh, I just killed the poor ducky, though. Dense, about 20 times denser than a duck. Without adding any matter, the gold duck would be a very awkward kind of foamy gold with lots of tiny microscopic gaps. Yeah, it's this gold. is funky and doesn't explode, which is progress. Now that we've established a sort of magic that works, what would happen if Midas stumbles? What if he touches Earth itself? I don't think the whole for just thing moment, would turn into gold, though. All the matter in the Earth. Just like the duck, the Earth is now solid gold, but with many tiny atomic scale gaps. While these gaps weren't a huge deal for the duck, they're a big problem for the Earth. A spongy planet is not a thing that can exist, as gravity compresses Earth, squeezing it together to close up the gaps. As a result, the Earth contracts, shrinking to two-thirds of its radius. If you're standing on Earth's surface, you'll suddenly find yourself in freefall, like on a roller coaster. Wait, why aren't they turning into gold? Beneath you. But since the ground is falling too, it doesn't move away from you. It feels like someone turned off gravity, and you and everything else would begin to float. Mm. But the ride doesn't last forever. It takes only 10 minutes for everything to crash down, and a weird 10 minutes it is indeed. And then, as abruptly as it started, it stops. The collapsing Earth has reached its desired size, and gravity is suddenly turned back on for you. Hopefully you enjoyed your minutes of floating, because the ground and you with it crash into the planet at 30,000 kilometers an hour, making your body splatter like a water balloon as it hits. In oh, instant... Thanks, guys, for demonstrating that. Oh, man. Poor ducks, bro. See, these ducks get abused every single video, but, like, I don't, mm, I, I don't think it worked that way, honestly. I think 
where he just stumbled and touched it turned gold, not the whole earth. I'd expect him to actually touch the planet for that to happen. But let's 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 go with this one. Um so like all the water turned into gold. So we're all gonna die. So basically all of humanity gets smashed into red puddles. This is Damn, I thought we were gonna be rich. Though, since Earth imploded supersonically. The kinetic energy of the implosion is basically equivalent to detonating a planet made of TNT. Crushed uh. together under incredible forces, Earth's core reaches a million degrees Celsius, a temperature whoa, 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 whoa. closer to the core of a star than anything we're used to finding on Earth. As the Earth crashes into itself, it generates an enormously powerful shock wave which plows upwards, catapulting the atmosphere up and off. The Earth's surface temperature no, reaches hundreds of thousands of degrees, so we're dead. and everything on it is instantly vaporized Damn. to a fluffy plasma cloud that starts to expand, but not by much. That would be the rich. that may have been new get mixed into this cloud, while others boil off, escaping from the atmosphere. The golden plasma outshines the sun, while the enormous radiation lifts tons of material off into space. Over the coming days, the plasma cloud cools and eventually freezes into a shiny little golden ball. Okay, maybe this wow. type of magic doesn't work. So, if replacing atoms made the Earth so overdense that it exploded, and disassembling and reassembling atoms made the Earth so underdense that it imploded, there must be a sweet spot where the Earth does neither. What if Midas's power is such that an object is suddenly replaced by an object with the same volume? made from solid gold. That magic is a little bit more magic and cuts a few extra corners. But I don't see. think I don't think that's how they cursed him. But let's keep you know I let me see. Mm. It's like have you guys seen those gold iPhones? Like it's just an iPhone but gold. So you just touch an iPhone it just turns into gold but it's still working. You touch a human, they turn into gold, but they still work like a human. No, that does not make any sense, though. Mm, but let, let's just say we get a lot of... I'll just keep Midas in my closet, obvious. Like, just turn stuff into gold for me. I don't need everybody else trying to be rich. So, Midas stumbles again. Even though our new pure gold earth is not expanding or contracting, it's suddenly much more massive. The density of gold is three and a half times greater than the Earth, meaning the oh, Earth oh, is going to get three and a half times more massive. For starters, more everyone space. has to contend with surface gravity that is more than three times stronger. So if you're not a champion weightlifter who's used to carrying around a few times your body weight on your shoulders, you're probably going to be slammed to the ground by your own weight. <laughs> Depending on where you were when Earth turned into gold, this alone could seriously hurt or even kill you. Trees and artificial structures collapse under stress they were never meant to sustain, while birds and planes and all things that were able to fly or float splash to the ground all around you. Uh oh. And you're not the only thing weighed down by the greater gravity. The weight of the atmosphere and also atmospheric pressure nearly quadruples, which is a bad thing if you like living. On its own, this won't <laughs> That's funny. scuba divers can comfortably breathe air at these pressures for a while, but unfortunately, squeezing the atmosphere this much raises its temperature to 150 degrees Celsius, which is like the insides of an oven. Oh. The entire Earth's surface bakes, roasting anything and everything. There is no escape. Bruh. Gold may be a metal, but mm. it's about three times weaker than steel and also very malleable, which makes it very bad mountain material. The tallest mountains that can be supported are now only about two kilometers high, so whole ranges compress as their own weight basically crushes their base. Well, now we can climb Everest. Here. We're probably in for giant earthquakes and landslides as the planet is squeezed into a new shape. Okay, They're this is getting me mountain. irritated now. Midas is like, like your power is not even cool anymore if, if we're not gonna live. That's why I'm just saying, keep that dude in the closet and then bring artifacts like turn this into gold instead of doing this it'd be a good fight for that guy i definitely i definitely throw a punch or two to 
get him. Ranges. The differences between the continents and the ocean floor level out, causing the ocean basins to overflow, sending massive tidal waves over the Earth's surface. Ah, what this remains thing. is a planet made of gold, entirely covered by an ocean three kilometers deep, a super hot atmosphere, and a lot of dead people. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, they don't look good. A lesson to take away here, but we're not sure what it is. We <laughs> don't turn the earth. Though. It's cold. in our sources document if you want to take a look. If you oh. learned anything in this video, let us know what it was. I did. I did. So, and that's keep him in the, the closet. In our shop are the don't bring him out. To publish videos for free. But it's way more than that for us. Here's a short story and a Ah oh, man, that's crazy. That is, that was hilarious. That is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, keep that guy in your closet and you're good. You're rich for life. Um, yeah, if you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.